Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the short clip on designing a strip putting in robot structural analysis. My name is Jakubus Oberholster. I'm an AEC and Procon technical consultant with Micrographics, and you can also check my email address there if you would like to get hold of me after watching this clip or for any other reason related to the software that de we deal with as Micrographics. So without further ado, let's jump into our short clip for today. So I am in Robot 2026 and there has been a minor, minor update from uh, upwards from 2025 just with regards to I think a code or two and then also just some new warning systems. But nothing significant. I am honestly just quite happy that there has been some changes made to Robot and hopefully that is a good sign for the future. But unfortunately, we do not know. But all right. Without now diving into that, let's just take a look at our model. We've got a nice little simple concrete model. I've got my concrete columns. Oops, I've got a button. I've got my concrete columns and I've got my concrete walls as well. And then I've got my distribution of supports with pin supports and then pinned line supports as well. So the purpose of today's clip is just to show you that you can actually design a strip footing in robot based on the support type that you have assigned to an element and in this case we'll look at a strip footing which is of course what we would expect at the bottom of this wall so how do you start this process well of course first and foremost we want to run our analysis making sure that everything runs smoothly and then from there we can proceed to our design workflow so what I'll do is I'll just drag and select everything at the bottom there. It will, of course, include the wall along with all of its nodes. But you don't have to worry too much about that because the program does differentiate between the different elements that have been selected and it can work with that. So you don't have to stress about now precisely selecting that line support as it appears down there. So with our elements selected, I'll go to design and click on provided reinforcement of RC elements. And here, what we'll do is we'll pull in the relevant elements and we'll give you a warning if there are unsupported elements. The first thing is just to select manual combinations because I have I created my own load combinations and I'll click OK. And you can see there are two walls, BSE and so forth, so forth. Option not implemented yet in the elements that have not been concluded in the provide reinforcement modules 20. And it says transfer of all C elements has been completed. So I can just click close. And the first thing you need to look at is just these levels. I click on the expand button. I can see there that a foundation has been loaded in to this workspace. So I can click on that, double click on that actually. And then what you'll see here is you'll actually see a strip footing. Now, what's very nice about this is you can of course get rid of this little pier over here. And all you want then in this case is to have the load coming from the wall distributed on an area the width of the wall itself or at least that is what i think you should do and in this case we can see the a dimension over there is 250 which is the thickness of the wall we can see what this looks like by going to our structure view it's possible that we won't see this yet we have to go and update our display settings so i'll go to display structure and you can see there is a support shapes tick box i'll click apply and okay and we've got our support there look at that i love the fact you can see that because you'll be able to see the interaction of all of these foundations once they have been loaded into the concrete design workspace and you'll be able to see once they're all done just how their sizes interact with each other Right, so back to foundation view, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the H2 thickness to zero, make that fixed. Right, because I don't want a little pier, I just want the footprint of the wall. I'll go back to structure and just see what this looks like and we can see that's exactly what I want. So from here, I'm not necessarily going to go through all of these settings per se. We can just run our results actually as is without changing anything. I might just make it a plain peer, click apply. I could have it doweled so these, the reinforcement can extend into the wall above. I'm not going to complicate things for myself at the moment. I'm going to go with just the 
the calculation and you can see that is what robot recommends the size of this footing b we can go to our result just look at what's happening here of course i haven't set everything up so there's not a lot to show here if we go to our foundation reinforcement we can actually see we can see the recommended foundation as per the program the recommended reinforcement for the foundation as per the program and that is quite cool we can go to foundation note where we can see our calculations and all of the relevant information you can see our the design loads over there as well stress and soil design soil pressure and the safety factor as well of course this wouldn't be acceptable for us we would want a larger safety factor and we could maybe even go back to our foundation view and change this width maybe to one meter fix it we can actually fix the rest and we can run our calculation again come on you need to have that fixed let's do it like that apply there we go all right so we can go to foundation note again and we can just look at the information let's have a quick look all right and there's a safety factor of 1.76 which is a lot closer to what i would want i would probably aim for around 2 2.5 but again that's just my opinion but you can see here you've got all of your calculations or at least relevant calculations here and then if you want to print these notes it's not quite as simple or it's not the same as if you've done an analysis on your steel elements what you need to do in this case is go to results click on calculation note it will open up a separate window and this is the one that you can go and print to pdf and so forth all right so i hope that that was helpful i hope that you found that interesting and that it will add to your robot workflow thank you so much for tuning in if you have any questions please pop them in the comment section below if you haven't already subscribed to our channel please hit a like if you found this informative and other than that you're always welcome to reach out to me at yakubas at mgfx.co.za